this is the Porsche 911 GT3 R wheel from Fanatec. It's a podium product and this one is in leather. It also comes in suede. Today's video we're going to have a look at this. Have a look. I'm going to go through the features with you and tell you what it does. It's got, it's quite feature packed and we'll work out whether it is worth the asking price of 649 euros. So as you can see, expensive wheel. I'll tell you this straight away, it's very nice to use, it's a beautiful feeling wheel, it's got a lot of weight about it and when you get it, it comes in six boxes, I'll just insert a picture here, this is what it looks like when it arrives in the boxes and yeah, but is it worth the money? So stay tuned and let's find out. Hi, welcome back. So from the start of the video, from this intro, the intro that you saw, we're going to talk about this. So, like we said before, this is the podium steering wheel from Fanatec. It is 650 euros and it consists of multiple parts when you buy it. So when you buy this, you get the actual leather rim itself. You get the paddles. You get the podium here. And then you get what is called the button module endurance, which bolts behind this here and on there you'll see it's got a small uh, screen which is an OLED screen that camera malfunction so like I was saying so this screen here works on certain games and certain games only it come, you use Final Lab software it runs through there and it will give feedback to this wheel from certain games as I say not all games work and it's really strange to get it to work. So to get it to work, you press that button in there, which is what you'd normally use to set up your five modes. And as you press the button in, you go right or left with this wheel to bring it on. Very strange the way it works. Not great. So let's talk about the wheel. So the leather on the wheel itself is really, really nice. Really nice leather. The stitching's fantastic on it. Not really good, this gimbal. I do not like this gimbal. So let's talk about the wheel. So, as I said, the leather's really nice, it's really nicely finished off, really nice red stripe on the top. And then we'll talk about, so this is the slider, now you get the slider with this, this is, would be another 100 quid, but this does actually come with it, the slider bolts on the back of here, and it's a metal slider obviously. This is your podium hub here, this unit here, and this is where you plug in your sensor, your sensors for this panel here and then you've got the so these are magnetic and are also hall centers sensors these are absolutely fantastic feeling paddles some of the nicest I've felt you can have this thing set up with a dual clutch uh, using these you can have this obviously as you brake and accelerate it's just so many features on here with the with the paddles and it comes in here you can make certain adjustments in here because if you look when you get these they come with a kit and you get different spaces now what i would say is this is about as close as you can get them to the steering wheel which i think is a little bit of a design flaw you should be able to bring them more out so this is what you get in the box and i haven't left anything the only difference is in the box is different shaped ones of these that i haven't put on so this is the endure the I don't know what it's called button module endurance stupid name. Um, so this is what you get. So you get two rotaries down at the bottom. You get the control there and a control there. You get up and down switches here, and then these are your buttons. Now the buttons feel okay. I'm not saying they're the best button feel in the world. And in fact, the fit and finish of this, when you've got it in your hand, feels a little bit cheap to me. Uh, it comes in around 200, I think this is, just for this part itself. It's 200 because you can bolt this on, obviously, any other wheel you want, and you can buy it separately. It's simply a matter of bolting it through. So the bolts go through the steering wheel, through this unit, and into the podium hub. So that's how it bolts together. As you'll have seen from the pictures, that's how it arrives from Fanatec. As you can see on the front, we have the Porsche logo, and it's really nice. This, this is actually very nicely finished off. It's steel, not plastic. And as you, when you, you'll see if you hold one of these, but behind here, it's just got two tabs that hold it in place, and then when you put the wheel on, it can't come off. 
the bit of heft of this is really heavy for what it is uh, and all in all the wheel feels nice is it worth 650 euro that I don't think so it's a nice addition it's a very nice wheel and I use it for GT3 stuff but I'm not sure it's worth the money it, well it certainly isn't it's not worth 650 euros but everything's expensive in this game so would I recommend it I'm not sure I'm not sure I certainly would recommend this wheel if anybody's thinking about getting this wheel on a different base to maybe go behind it or just put the the old universal cub on the back of here then probably yeah because the wheel's absolutely fantastic the fit and finish is amazing on it this is the bit that I don't think is that great to be honest and although they are very very nice paddles you're paying a hundred and are they 150 or the 200 you're paying 179 euros for this privilege of these paddles again a lot of money and when you stick this on dd1 which i've recently bought you're looking at then you're looking at what 1700 1800 euros 1850 euros a lot of money but yeah it's nice enough let me just go through some other wheels and i'm going to show you some options so if you're new into this you don't need to buy anything like this so the other wheels they do in the setup are so this is quite popular this is the mclaren gt everybody just sells this there's hundreds of them for sale on ebay you'll see new this weighs nothing it's really light the fit and finish is nowhere near as quality as some of the other wheels stocked here with rubber but it is nice to hold in your hand as you can see on the back these are much less much clickier but you can push so you can go push and pull on the back of these and then the same thing again you've got two at the bottom so you can do your get your clutch point or you can obviously use them for accelerate and brake on the back of it, it doesn't have the qr slider this has the uh cheap feeling push on and twist mechanism i do particularly don't like this and then at the front you've got a variety of buttons which don't feel, which feel okay they're not bad to be fair pit button and a neutral button very hard to push them you're not going to miss them in any in a hurry this here just control this and that's all and then you've got two rotaries here the great thing about this is 200 euros it's 199 euros and really is a nice piece of kit the sticker doesn't come with it you can buy them separately if you if you're into this you'll know you can buy them all over the place but yeah 200 euro wheel can't really complain about it for 200 euros it's dirt cheap and then i have so this is a club sport wheel there's a few of these about in different variations what depends what year it came out i'm not sure how old this one is um we're all just called club sport so this has alcantara on the front and this just has normal paddles on the back but actually really nice to, to drive this thing it's got a bit more weight to it than the other one it does have the slide on the back for the lock ring and then very similarly on the front you've got your two switches there and then you've got these up here the buttons on this feel better than they do on the gt3 wheel but again much of muchness very nicely finished off carbon fiber plate i'm not sure if it is real carbon fiber i don't think it is real no it doesn't look like a carbon fiber. i think it's plastic this plate and then you have a row of lights on here for your revs and then you've got the normal older type three digit um leds on the front of this one moving on this wheel i'm going to show you now is the one that's on my base so i'll just have to take it off this is the fanatec f1 uh, sorry fanatec formula v 2.5 x mouthful don't understand what all the saints are this comes in at about 379 euros again it's got a slider on the back this just feels a far more premium product this is carbon fiber as you can see it's got a carbon fiber plate very similar to its setup in the other one but uh, more switches and this has got the rotaries here which are fantastic for so for i i only use this for f1 2021 and i have this set up for on this side i have my brake bias and on here i have my diff set up 
and uh, it's a really nice wheel again it's expensive but you sort of get what you pay for and the uh, four wheel and the final wheel i have to bear with you one second I'll just delve and get this so this is a the bmw and i think it's a gt3 v2 or something like that this wheel is the heaviest wheel of the lot uh, no idea the construction of this this is metal and it's ridiculously thick metal i hope you can see how thick this steel is i don't know if you can from the camera there this has less buttons or no rotaries on this all push button on the front and the two toggles again and nice paddles on the back they don't make this anymore unfortunately this is Al alcantara and as you can see it's already starting to wear there a little bit but i do not use this with gloves and i should do i use the others with gloves they're uh, my formula one with gloves um, which you can pick up cheap enough i currently use these and these are the sparko hyper grip and i like these because they're really really light and you don't feel like you've really got gloves on but as you can see it's already got wear on the alcantara there but if you've got a suede brush you can pause that back up again and that come like new so there the wheels i run and i do actually use all the wheels to be honest um i tend to because i tend to do more formula one than anything else i probably use this wheel the most so hope you enjoyed that so that was my quick overview of that wheel and also all the wheels i have in my setup i'm going to do another video shortly because i've just bought a dd1 and changed from the club sport 2.5 and i'll tell you what i think of the tell you if i think it was worth the money um and there we have it and then after that we're going to go on to probably weekly streams or maybe maybe twice a week streams of racing probably formula one and a set of course but i've also just got into automobilista 2 which i didn't like at first but now i do so that's what's coming up in the future thanks for watching have a fantastic day